Hello everybody and welcome back. This is a new project, my Mechanist Hammer. I start from the handle and as you can see I start from a round bar of steel. I use my largest center drill to have uh, the largest support surface. You will understand after why, but uh, as you can see, the surface uh, where I will put uh, the tailstock is very big. I use the correct drill uh, to make uh, the M8 screw. After finish the tapping hole, I put out the round bar from the chuck and I take the measure of the total length of my handle. And as you can see, the handle will be work with the tailstock. Now you can see the big surface that uh, I made before to have a rigid support from the handle. After making the zero with my DIO, I go in the Y axis and uh, I go to make some signs on the handle. I made this uh, because uh, the knurling surface uh, will be between this sign. I smooth the surface with the scotch bright uh, because after I will cannot do. In a change tool for installing the knurling tool. With this special tool, I go in the center, as you can see from the round bar, and I start to knull in the surface from right to left and left to right. And after six passage, my finger said it's okay. So I start to turn down the diameter from 20 millimeters to 13 millimeters. The diameter will be very accurate because I will use it to insert in the center part of my mechanist hammer. After checking the diameter I decide to change the tool and to use my parting tool to make the smaller diameter between the 20 and the 13. And with this tool I go to 12. As you can see from left to right and right to left. Very carefully. It was the first time that I did something like this with the parting tool, but uh, I was very happy with the result. The 12 diameter was not so important, but uh, it came out very precise. And I then made uh, the bevel at 45 degree. I turned down the surface before the knurling only for an aesthetic reason. And at the end I made the same thing. And so I decided to make free cut, also this uh, for an aesthetic reason. And for making this uh, I turn around an old HSS tool that uh, I have at home. And so I have made a check if uh, all the cuts were was in the correct place. So I start from the left to right to see if uh, all was okay. And finally, with the scotch bright, I smooth the uh, 12 mm surface, also using a compound. I use also a rug, and at the end, I use my parting tool to cut the handle. I start the central part with a piece of brass, and after sense drill, I make an M8 hole. I cut, rotate, and I made the second M8 hole. And so I went to my milling machine and, my, and I used my vice stop to have a good reference. I go in the center and after I make a small plane. And so I use the 9mm drill bit. I also made a second hole. The second hole was tapped to M6 and it was the self-locking screw. And here I made the seat for the head of the screw. Checking if the depth was correct for the head. And I made the same seat for the M6 screw. In this case I use a 10 mm end mill. After checking the head depth for the M6 I rotate the round bar and I use my vice stop to make the other hole for the end. 
I used the 9mm drill bit to find the center of the hole in the center of the brass round bar. And with the 13mm end mill I made the seat for the handle, as you can see with the coupling with this. And so I made the first check with the center screw. I test the force that can be obtained, but also if the distance between the center was correct or not for the self-locking screw. To make the lobe in the center screw, I have to invent something to support the screw in the vise. And for this, I make a sign, as you can see, in a pipe that after I cut with the hand saw. This pipe will be the support for the screw, and I use this as you can see for the coupling to insert the screw in the vise and make the lobe. And I go down very carefully because the screw was in style and steel. I shorten the self-locking screw by turning counterclockwise, this to open the thread. To polish the external surface I use a dense center in the chuck. And this uh, because I, I thought that uh, the stress uh, for the polish was not so high. And my Scotch Bright helped me another time. This is the good result. To check if all was correct, uh, I put the handle in the vise. And I started to assemble with uh, the center part, the brass round bar. I installed the first central screw. That was the screw that make the big forces and after this I check if I can go with a big force with the lobe in the direction of the self-locking screw. I had to turn down a little the head of the self-locking screw because it was not possible to go in the depth from the beginning. I was very happy for the results because the self-locking screw stopped the center screw and didn't allow the center screw to move and so to rotate. And so the most important step, first step for my mechanist armor was complete. And so I made the plastic buffer turning down a piece of plastic bar that I have at home. And so I make the M8 thread. This will be used to install the buffer to the center part of my hammer. And using my last device, I make the second buffer. In this case, I use copper. I made a circular quarry, and after I turned down and I made an M8 thread. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you at the next time. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town